Last night, as Tory MPs were once again fighting amongst themselves, the public were sat at home watching John Irvin of ITV News report on footage from Gaza of an unarmed Palestinian man walking under a white flag being shot and killed by the IDF. Prime Minister, such an act constitutes a war crime, does it not? Yeah. 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 Mr Speaker, we have been absolutely consistent that international humanitarian law should be respected and civilians uh, will be, should be protected. I have made that point expressly to Prime Minister Netanyahu and the Foreign Secretary is in the region this week making exactly the same point. Stephen Clay. Mr Speaker, I do not think it is unreasonable to expect the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom to rise to that dispatch box and tell the people of these isles and elsewhere that shooting an unarmed man walking under a white flag is a war crime. Now, now in recent weeks, this House has acted with urgency and intent following an ITV drama. The question is, will this House now show the same urgency and intent following this ITV news report? And finally, back a ceasefire in Gaza. Mr Speaker, no one wants to see this conflict go on for a moment longer than necessary, and we do want to see an immediate and sustained humanitarian pause to get more aid in and, crucially, the hostages out, helping create the conditions for a sustainable ceasefire. I set out the conditions for that earlier in the House. The Foreign Secretary is in the region today, and we will continue to press all our allies and partners to make sure that we can bring about that outcome.